Hey guys, what's up? This is Said and welcome back to Pro Gadgets for the new video. Look what I've got. Ye 4K Plus action camera. 4K Plus is the world's first camera action camera which records 4K at 60 frames per second. Guys, can you believe this? 60 frames per second in 4K. So guys, let me now unbox it and I'm going to show you the inbox contents. Actually what uh, this box contents of and also I'm going to take you to the tour of the specifications of E4K Plus action camera. As you can see over here, it is mentioned at 4K at 60 frames per second and its amber h2 soc is the processor its umbrella is the fastest processor usb type c as it was in e4k also and eis its electronic image stabilization system which was not there in e4k at 30 frames per second but now you can record 30 frames per second of 4k footage with eis on also, it records raw videos, supports Bluetooth 4.0 version. And the last one, which is the best thing, it's, it's waterproof up to 132 feet. But remember, it's with the waterproof housing. Actually, I was very eager to unbox it. So actually, it is uh, previously unboxed, but still I will show you the unboxing and the contents of the 4k let us first see this housing it's a waterproof housing which is made up of glass <coughs> there's a push button you need to push and then remove it this way and open up the cover and this is the usb type c cable and also it works as a charger now this is mounting this mounts on your selfie stick and your DSLR or tripod stand or you can see as the float grip waterproof and this is the screw to tightening I'll just give you the demo of this how to fix it up you can just see look at this this is the camera so you, you know, just need to fix this and push it aside and you just need to put the lap over here and press it very firmly now you can see it is locked now in this segment either you can attach your selfie stick or you can attach the extension rod but for that you need a mounting screw so just add it this way tighten up with this screw and now you can mount this screw either to the tripod stand or to the selfie stick just look at this little baby which fits easily on your that is so small that it comes in your three fingers less than three fingers so let me show you this is the button to power on press and hold it for just two seconds and now you can see the power is on and you can see the video it's 4k hd at 30 frames per second let me now show you the different modes of video from here you need to go to the settings and select the resolution the resolution is 4k HD at 30 frames per second in 4k you can select from 30 48 60 and also 24 frames per second also there are different modes like 2.7k and 2k 180 if you go for 180 you can see you can record 180 up to 120 frames per second it's very fast dude it's very fast 
also if you want to shoot slow motion you can go back and now let me show you how to switch between slow motion and other videos so the interface is like it is an in housing mode so what you need to do is you need to keep pressing this button and it changes the modes first one is photo mode so to enter the photo mode you need to just press and hold this now you can see the photo mode is on and in the photo mode just look here it's 8 megapixel which is wide and 12 megapixel shutter speed metering speed all those things are uh, I'm not going to take much time on this as each every one of us know all this so let me now switch to the video mode that is the best of this it is slow motion video so slow motion you can record up to just look at it if you are recording in 2x the slow motion comes in 60 frames per second 720p at 60 frames per second and if you are doing the slow rate 4x the slow motion comes in 120 frames per second and if you are doing it 8x you can see 720p at 240 frames per second so guys let me show you how to remove the battery and majorly I wanted to show you the SD card here's the SD card so you need to be very cautious at the time when you are choosing the SD card look at this SD card if you can see it's Sandic Extreme Pro and U3 V30 version so why you need to choose this SD card is because if you are shooting your video at 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second the bitrate of the video goes more than 100 MB per second so if you are not choosing a fast memory card your videos could stuck up so it is very important that you choose your SD card as described by in the user manual if you can see from here just look in the, into the manual it has given the SD card which supports so here it is extreme extreme pro so I have got an extreme pro 64 GB check out the videos which I have recorded earlier with the all the different options like 4k in 60 frames per second and 4k in 30 frames per second and slow motion in 720p at 240 frames per second it's very beautiful and I, I promise that you will enjoy the videos guys and don't forget to comment and your opinions are very important for me please comment and suggest your valuable suggestions. So, 